was a most unusual organization. Uh, Joseph Smith will learn from Parley P. Pratt, actually, that Zion had fallen, meaning that independence where the saints had lived, that their New Jerusalem, their experiment with Zion had ended, and the saints were now forced to cross the river beyond Jackson County up into Clay County. Uh, they were in horrible conditions, viewed as exiles from uh, from Jackson County. Parley P. Proud, accompanied by Lyman White, will now uh, return from that area and will be the bearers of the sad news to the Prophet Joseph Smith that Zion had fallen. When Joseph heard the news from Par Parley, he is reported to have uh, experienced great tears and expressed that he wished that he could have been with the brethren to have suffered their fate. He then uh, appeared before a high council in February of 1834 in Kirtland asking what should we do and should we assist our brethren. Uh, many on the high council, there were 12 at that time, expressed uh, great sympathy for their friends that had suffered in independence and then Joseph announced, his first announcement that he was going to Missouri was before the High Council, and then he asked for volunteers. It's interesting that only five of the twelve men of the High Council said they would go with Joseph. Joseph then asked for subsequent volunteers, and still the numbers did not reach the requisite numbers of 200, where Joseph could be guaranteed victory on that count. So eight church leaders were actually sent around uh, various parts of the United States as missionaries including William Smith up to Michigan. But in the meantime, Joseph headed out on May 1st of 1834, accompanied with an advance party of 20 men, of which Martin Harris was actually one of those men. The numbers will grow to over 200. There will be women and children. They will literally march or travel 900 miles in an attempt to reach Independence, Missouri. They will not be successful in their efforts to place their friends back on their lands in Jackson County or to redeem Zion at that time. As many are aware, um, the rules of the camp were you needed to keep the commandments, you needed to pray, uh, you also needed to not murmur. Uh, these were difficult days and a plague hit the camp. Over 60 men will then be uh, afflicted with cholera and uh, told them to return back to their home.